I'd like to show you how I put on a coat of true oil. I use as an application method a paper towel. I prefer the blue shop towels but money is tight these days. Regular kitchen paper towel folded in quarters and a thin super fine 3M sanding pad which is you know, you can use anything generic for this. I put it inside of the folded towel. It gives me a surface here to wipe with. Turn it over, use that surface to wipe it with. Turn it inside out, I get two more surfaces. So I get four surfaces out of each uh, piece of paper towel. Now really the important thing is, <clears throat> are you removing the oil with the paper towel or are you removing the oil with the oil that is on the paper towel? I'll show you what I mean as I do it. But any bit of oil that is on here, when you try to wipe other oil off, you're going to get a smudge or something, which can be removed, but it's extra work, and I am like totally against extra work. I have my true oil. I keep it uh, upside down as often as I can. It did last longer that way. I have a piece of a neck that uh, Ken Serp made for me that I use to handle the body. And I have some white scotch pad that I use between coats to scuff up the surface a bit because the true oil does a mechanical thing. It doesn't flow into itself like lacquer does. <clears throat> so to make a mechanical bond you need a bit of a roughed up surface and I use this painter's pad. I'm not sure what this is. I found it uh, as a surface. A flat surface to uh, put on top of the pad. Um, it's important I guess with any finish not to use your hand, <coughs> your hand alone as a backup that will leave ripples. Some people can get away with it. I have never been able to. Okay. Need a new paper towel. And I'll have that ready. Make sure I don't use that one. The cotton ball, big and fluffy. Some people get a lot of lint using these. I've been fortunate uh, in not getting a lot of lint, so I'll continue to use them. Uh, coffee filters work well. Any sort of non-linty cloth would be a good choice as well. I found this works okay. Just put a little dollop, true oil, and put it on. I always go around the edges like this because there have been times I have missed the edges. And then I rub it in using a little bit of force. I use circles. It's not necessary, but it seems to work better for me. You can see that one little bit of oil covers almost the entire back. I've already done that section, so I'm just doing the intersection. I turn it to the light to make sure I've covered every portion that I want to. Then I finish in long strokes with the grain. Keep everything lined up. Less chance of smudges. Be mindful of the ends. Anybody can polish the center uh, or put oil on the center, but at the ends you tend to either put not enough or way too much and at the very end of the process then you have more cleaning up to do. Okay, the oil is on there. There's no point in letting it sit. The wood is going to absorb what it's going to absorb quickly. So now I'm going to wipe it off. 
The first couple of strokes, I'll be taking off a lot of surface oil. Now I'm not breaking my rule about wiping oil with oil because the surface film comes off very easily. But after I do that, I turn the pad over, work slowly, Okay, that sound you hear is starting to tack up already. So I'm going to flip this over to a new side and bear down just a little. With true oil, the deal is this. I'll flip this over again. If you feel something sticking or you see something changing, that means there's some oil being moved around. And if the oil is moving around, it's on this, which means you better get to a clean spot. Uh, I need a new towel. You don't have to be in a hurry, but you need to keep on top of it. The goal is when you're done, with this coat, or any coat, you want it to look like you want it to look. In other words, no smudges, no runs, no streaks. This is looking really nice. I do a finish wipe the other direction just so the end uh, doesn't present a different appearance. Oh, it's starting to stick. So the end doesn't uh, present a different appearance. Then the rest. Oh, you know, the true oil does such a beautiful job. I'm trying something different this time. I haven't pore filled completely at, at the beginning. I wanted to see if I could pore fill as I uh, go along just by pressing the true oil in. Now I have six coats on here and uh, the pores are starting to fill. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. There are still a lot of pores, but there are maybe half as many as there were at coat two. Once again, check it, have a good light, a couple of lights. Look for anything that you just don't like. And make sure nothing drags as you do this. If you feel a drag, if there was something there, you just go over it a few times with a fresh towel and as they say Bob is your uncle and now I will uh, turn this over and uh, do this side then I'll let them both set for a little while come back do the the other side and the top let everything set for a couple of hours and do it again. It's very easy, it's enjoyable, the tactile feedback is wonderful, and the end result is just great. Turn this upside down. And that's it.